They're both 16 inch. They both have four microfarad capacitors. Relatively well, I think they're the exact same blade. See, same hub and stuff. This one's got a little more pitch when it's stopped. So here's the pitch on the newer one. There's the pitch on the older one. You can see it just kind of wings out a little bit more at the scoop. But there's really no difference in performance because these fans use that flexible blade. Like, you know, I guess all new fans blades are flexible, but these ones are like, you know, really flexible. <laughs> I'll show you when I take the grill off. When you have that flexible of a blade, they spin up and the pitch actually starts to decrease. Like, the blade's like kind of squeeze together you know see how little of pitch there is now see like that's kind of ridiculous and not all of them are like that trust me I've bought a lot of new fans and uh, there's only a few that are like this and it's funny um, some of the more expensive ones like these cool works I think they're about 35 bucks yeah they have this crappy blade whereas if you go buy a classic 16 inch stand fan you pay about, I think, $25 for it max. And it's actually a really good fan. I gotta do a remake of it. This is the logo for the 2010. You can see that the little wavy lines or whatever are dark blue, just like the words. And the wavy line is bright blue on the 2001. Let's just see these weak units run. We'll start off with the older one here. Here's high. Not really a lot of air movement from these things. Medium. You can see like the very skinny pitch it has. Like it still moves more than a fusion does, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't really want to buy one of these things. <laughs> Low is generally a little faster than this, but it's not really warmed up, so it tends to spin a little slower on low when it's cold. This is the other fan that I used in the fan war when I made the video of that super you can see in the corner there. That's it for the 2001. Now for the 2010. Same thing, started on high.
This one's got uh, slower speed as you can tell. That's because I haven't oiled this one yet. So I'm guessing it'll spin the same speed as the 2001 once I oil it. Though it might be just a weaker motor or something. This one's really rattly. It doesn't have a weight in the hub here like, like the old one does as you can see there. It's just a little piece of metal or something. So this fan tends to shake. You can hear it. It's not enough to see it on the camera though. It's not really that bad. It just kind of... The fan's all broken up and stuff here. Tell you the honest truth, this fan moves just as much air as that fan, even though it spins slower. That's plain and simply because of these flexible blades. They faster they spin, the skinnier they get. So, anyways, here's medium. These fans use a knob which you loosen from down there to up here. Same thing with the older one, except it doesn't quite have as wide of a range of tilt because of the reinforcement. As you can see there. really hard to hold the camera still. Yeah, I'll just upload a picture of it. You can see the motor housings look the same, except the newer one here is really beat up. Okay, so it's back there on this side too. See that? There's a chunk broken out of there. Other than that, the fan's fine, except for the foot pegs, they were completely destroyed. Pretty much, like you know, they're just folded in every direction. I have a little clip of it before I fixed them, and I had actually already fixed it a little just so it would barely sound. But I explained that in that little clip. This one I got from the garbage dump, and it was broken right here. And all I did the first time was just put a whole bunch of tape there, and it kind of worked, but it started to fold forward and. Then I used some reinforcement and 
fixed the problem ever since. I noticed that uh, the motors sound a little different in these fans. Like I said before, they both use a 4 microfarad capacitor. Exact same setup in there, like everything's in the same spot. Except the oscillator deal on the newer one is black, and on the older one it's white. As you can see, I never noticed that till now. But it looks the same. And uh, the motor, I don't know, kind of looks relatively the same. This fan was oiled correctly, like when I got it, it actually kind of spun the same speed as it does now. Except low speed was really slow. And like I guess all the speeds were a tad slower, but yeah, once I oiled it, it took right off to its full power. This one I have yet to see if it'll even speed up or not, but might as well let it break in a little more. And I guess it's broken at the bottom here too. I'll have to point that out. That's mainly from tipping over when I broke the foot things with the floor scrubber. This is going to be a crazy video to edit. Oh my gosh, already it's been almost 30 minutes of video total. Good thing I don't make you guys watch a whole 45 minute video of two fans, eh? Well, this one I forgot, it doesn't like that come unclipped here. Got to just bend them and destroy them a bit every time. This one's actually pretty ranked too. This one looks like it does have a little bit bigger of a blade, I think. Hold on the right. Oh, this one is falling off. Okay. Let's see. Are the blades any different? As you can see, the blade does look to be a little bigger on the older one. See, just a little bit. Not holding it exactly perfect, but you can just kind of tell right there. And right there a little. Not really though, it's kind of pretty even there. See a little bit right there. Mainly right there. Look at that, it's the same. The girls are the exact same size. Hmm. See? I mean, they're not really perfect all the way around, but that's because they're kind of bent up very slightly. So just a very slightly smaller blade on the new one, and uh, probably a weaker motor, I'm guessing. I think the rotor shaft is a little longer. Or else the motor is a little bit farther ahead on the newer fan than this one. See how it looks shorter there? Look, look at that. Look, look at how floppy these blades are. So, as soon as the fan gets spinning up to speed, the blade just basically starts to flatten out like that and not move very much air. The new one here doesn't spin as fast so it doesn't do it as bad. But you can see a little bit there. But this one, because it spins up faster, it really flattens the blades. I also noticed that the motor sounds are a little different on them, like here's the new fan's motor. Here's the 2001's.
Holy crap, make a wish. Anyways, that's about it for these things. Thanks for watching. This is about the roughest part of the fan. These foot pegs are completely like wrecked. <laughs> um, this foot peg is the one that got caught on the scrubber. That I was using like a floor scrubber. And they spin a buffering pad for the floor. It spins counterclockwise. So when that pad caught this edge of this tin here, it just dug right into this leg. And it, you know, you catch something on the right side of a scrubber, it's gonna just like totally like jerk to the right. No matter how strong or tough you are, that thing will throw you around. <laughs> Especially the new one I was using because it spins so fast. These foot pegs were just literally a little X, like they weren't the way they are supposed to be. The fan wouldn't stand up anymore. Kind of just roughly bent them back so it would provide us use for the rest of the day. Yeah, this is the foot peg that hit the wall. Kind of squashed it up good. So yeah, I'll do the best I can with those, tighten them up, and if they're stripped, I'll have to do something. Try it though. just spins your average speed. I mean, it's not really that fast for how little of pitch this thing has. And this fan is just famous for doing that. Like, one of the pegs will just start giving her. Oh, and then just stop sometimes. And it moves, yeah, a little bit of air, but not a heck of a lot. Uh-huh. <laughs>